Hey dudes, um, first of all, I'd like to say how uh, <laughs> excited I was to see how excited you guys were for me shaving my face. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't think an AV Today video has gotten so many comments before. Uh, it's, it was it was incredible, and I thank you guys for watching and enjoying it. And who knows, we might do it again sometime. I'm I'm starting to grow it back slowly. It's um, you know, so I, a lot of people in my life have been have been doing double takes, uh, making sure it's me, or like, some people at work didn't even know who I was at first, which is incredible, I didn't think it changed my face so much, but, um, it does, because, like, you know, it slims my face down, and makes me look younger, and I don't really have much to talk about, other than, like, I'm still kind of sick, I, I, I think I have tonsillitis, uh, it's, it, that's what it feels like, I've been, I've been battling this, this throat thing, like, it's just been sore, and, not in a, I've had, I've had probably more throat problems than anyone I know. It was, it's, it's just like I've had, uh, tonsillitis, uh, strep throat, strep tonsillitis. Um, so I kind of know what's going on back there and I know what each one feels like. But, so, uh, the other day I got to go see Fun play at, uh, the Mod Club in Toronto and they were absolutely phenomenal. Uh, not just Fun. Um, there's a band called Steel Train there, and they were also really awesome, and I strongly recommend checking them out. I'm going to link to one of their songs below, uh, because, you know, and I've talked about fun before. Uh, um, I, I recorded some videos there, but, uh, because of YouTube copyright, I can't upload copywritten songs up onto my channel, but I can upload this one clip where, um, uh, during their set, I think it was at the end of the song, All the Pretty Girls, uh, the lead singer had no idea that uh, bubbles came down out of the ceiling, and there's just this flood of bubbles coming down, and they just made up a song on the spot, and they called it the Bubble Song, and it was actually it was really good. So I'm going to show you that. Bubbles in And besides that, I've I've been getting into graphic novels a lot uh, recently, and um, I, I I read Essex County at work today, uh, which is on Canada Reads 2010 as uh, one of the best books of the year. It's being debated right now by I believe Sarah Quinn of Tegan and Sarah, and uh, in Canada it's pretty much like it's a huge deal. It's a huge book prize thing. And uh, there are five books competing in this time Essex County, the graphic novel. The first time a graphic novel has been on the list um, is up there. And I strongly recommend you checking out Essex County, especially if you're Canadian. Um, it has, it has, it, it makes you feel proud to be a Canadian, but at the same time, it's got just an awesome story uh, for anyone reading it. it. It's very small town. If you're from a small town, you'll definitely connect to it. Um, and it, it, it's also very much like Crash. Uh, the movie where uh, storylines start converging and you don't expect them to. Anyway, it's a fantastic novel. Also, I've been reading uh, The Walking Dead. Um, it, it, I love, I really love the graphic novels a lot. Um, they are far different than the than the television show, but that's totally fine. I love the I love the TV show too, but if you have the chance, pick up The Walking Dead. Um, the artwork in here is just, it's awesome. I, I, I absolutely love the style um, that that they've got going on. And it kind of sets it in a tone of like what would, you know, what would actually happen if if, um, if uh, you woke up and one day, you know, you were left without your family and, and then dead people were roaming the world. So anyway, check out The Walking Dead. I strongly recommend just go into a bookstore, pick up the first issue and give it a read through and see if you like it because I'm 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 really recommending this uh to everyone. 
Um, I've, I've been talking for a long time because it's uh, it's been a while. So let's get to the new Pokemon card of the day. Because so many people didn't comment on which pack they wanted me to open, actually just a few people did, they were more, uh, everyone was more concerned about my face. Um, I saw a lot for Lapras, so I think we're going to choose this one to start off with. And the first, first edition, fossil Pokemon card of the day is... Slowpoke! And, um, you know, I don't think we've seen this specific Slowpoke on this channel before, but this is actually my favorite artwork of Slowpoke um, out of the series. And, and you can see right there, it's his first edition. Incredibly slow and dopey, it takes five seconds for it to feel pain when under attack. Which, um, which is probably a useful thing. But, uh, I love Slowpoke. Who you are, who I am, where we are, where we've been, where'd you go? I 